Hello friends, welcome again. If you remember in my last session, I gave you four problems to be solved after explaining the basic cases of collection of lines. Let me tell you the solution of these four problems. I am sure majority of you might have tried and got the solution also. But for those who could not solve those problems, let me take one by one. The first problem was a line AB is 90 mm long. Its plan measures 65 mm and the elevation measures 72 mm. The end A is 20 mm above HP and 40 mm in front of B. Draw the projection of the line. Now here the true length of a line is given, 90 mm long. And therefore, to solve this problem, you should recall the method of finding true length and projections are key. And the method was that if you know the projections of the line, you take a line plane here and measure these distances, you get the true length. Or if you are doing by location method, then you can do it by rotating the plan and elevation. So you rotate this, make it parallel to the line, get the mean position of point B, and then this is the true A dash, B dash, B1 dash, B1, B and A. Now here in the question, what is B1? That plan is 65. This is 65. Elevation is 72. This is 72. A is 20 mm above HP and 40 mm in front of vertical plane. And this true length here is also given. And these are not given. 90 mm. So let us start with a point. The end A of the line is 20 and 40 from the ground. This is 20 and this is 40. Right? Now, this plan measures 65 mm, elevation measures 72 mm, and the curve true length is B1. So, let us say. The elevation is parallel to ground. Let us say B dash will lie somewhere on this line, which is parallel to ground line. In that case, your plan will be the true length. So take this elevation as 72 mm. Elevation is 72 mm. So this is the point B dash. And in this position, line is true in true length in the plan. So, a perpendicular here and measure true length here. You get B. You understand? So, what we have done? We have rotated this elevation, make it parallel to ground line. So, it will remain 72. So, measure 72 here and corresponding to that, you get B at a distance of true length from the A and A. But line is not parallel to horizontal plane. Right. So this is not the plan length. Plan length is 65. So from this point B1 back, B1 move parallel to ground line and take this 65. This as 65. This is the point, actual point B. Elevation will be at a height. So from B you draw a projector and from A dash rotate B dash to get this point B dash. Now this is the final elevation. It will remain 72. So the final plan and elevation of the line is like this. A dash B dash is the elevation and A B is the plan. Now question number 2 is that the end projectors of a line AB are 65 mm apart. A is 50 mm in front of BP 
and B is 30 millimeter in front of B. So let us draw two projectors which are 65 millimeter apart. This is 65 millimeter. A is 50 millimeter in front of B. So A is here at 50 millimeter and B is here at 30 millimeter from the ground. Horizontal trace is 10 millimeter in front of vertical trace. So horizontal trace will be somewhere on this line, which is at 10 millimeter. Right. The line makes 40 degree with the horizontal plane. So theta is also given. Question is draw the projections of the line. Now, if you remember how we determine horizontal trace, you join the plan of the line and extend it towards the ground. Now, this is the point where you get the particular trace, but since this HT lies at 10 mm, so this point is horizontal trace at 10 mm. Extended plan at 10 mm. Okay? And this is the elevation of this point, let us say H dash. To locate A dash and B dash, what we do now, you rotate this line with respect to HT, with respect to the horizontal trace, don't consider point B, total line from horizontal trace to A, rotate it and give it parallel to ground line. So you rotate this line. Let us say this point is A1. And when we rotate this line, its elevation will be true length and true angle. So make true angle at this point H dash at 30 degree, sorry, 40 degree. Theta 40 degree. Corresponding to that, you give you, it gives you a dash, a one dash, because it's not true point. It gives you a one dash, and here it gives you something like a one dash. But projector R 65 millimeter apart, and therefore a dash should lie on this projector. Okay, so rotate back, when you rotate back, it moves same height. This is the A dash point. Just because of rotation method. And now you join this A dash with H dash, you get the point B dash. So this is the final elevation of the line, satisfying the given conditions. And this is the plan. And once you know plan, once you know elevation, you can find out true length, you can find theta, you can find phi. That is question number two. Now question number three is that the distance between horizontal trace and vertical trace of a line measured parallel to x y is seventy five millimeter. So, if this is the ground line xy, horizontal trace and vertical trace are 75 mm apart along xy. The plan makes 30 degree to the vertical plane and elevation makes 60 degree to the horizontal plane. Now, see here, this is the plan and elevation of the line. Any line, A dash, B dash. Okay, so this angle and this angle, they are not true angle of the line. One end of the line is 20 millimeter above HP, so one end of the line will be lying on this height, that is 20 millimeter, and the other end is 20 millimeter in front of the VP. The other end, is a B will lie here, and this is also 20. This is also 20. Draw the position of the line and find its inclination with the reference planes. Now here, 
because the and the horizontal trace and vertical trace are given. So if you remember this this figure, how do we determine the traces? You take this is the horizontal trace and this is the vertical trace. Right is the vertical trace. Now this distance is 65. This is 20. This is 20. Right? So and, and it also says that the plant makes 30 degrees to the vertical plane. This is 30 degree. This is 60 degree. So this distance between HT and VT is 75 millimeter. Okay? And if you join this point to the vertical trace, you get A dash B dash on this line. A dash B dash on this line. A B. So this angle is 60, this angle is 30. So from this point, you draw a line at 30 degrees. And from this point, you draw a line at 60 degrees. These are the lines from ground point of horizontal trace and vertical trace. So this is the vertical trace and this is the horizontal trace of the line. So at 20 mm you get A dash. Another end is 20 mm in front of vertical plane. So at 20 mm you get point B. This is 20. This is also 20. So once you get A dash, a will be on this line and B dash will be on this line. So that is the projection of the line. That is the projection of the line A B satisfying the given conditions. And once you know the projections, you can determine the true length either by rotation vector or by auxiliary vector. The plan of a line A B is 30 mm long. Plan 30 mm long and it is perpendicular to the ground plane. Now, here you should recall what the condition when the plan or elevation becomes perpendicular to the ground plane. That means the line is in profile plane. So, line is in profile plane. Okay? The end A, A is above HP by 20 mm. So, A dash is here. B is here. So this is 20 and this is 30. So elevation length is just 10 mm. A lies in the vertical plane. A lies in the vertical plane. That means its plan will be here. A on the ground line. And because plan, plan of the line is 30 mm long, so you can take AB perpendicular to ground line 30 mm. This is 30. Now these are the projections of the line. Line is in profile plane. Okay, satisfying these conditions. Now question is locate the traces of the line AB and find the real distance between them. Now because this a is in the vertical plane, so this point becomes vertical trace also. So this is the vertical trace. Vertical trace. To find out horizontal trace, you take a plane here, project this line on this plane, profile plane. So A will be here, okay, and B will be at 30 millimeter. This is 30. This distance 30, B1, and this is A1 because A is on the ground line. This is the true length. Okay, this is the true length. And again, I will say that you consider this case. Now, trace, vertical trace will be when you 
extend this line to the ground and use a point and from this point to the vertical trace. To find the vertical trace, there are two methods. Either you go the same profile plane here, project the plan, and you get the trace. Or you extend this, meet the ground line, and then rotate this, this distance, this small distance here, you get the horizontal trace. So friends, this is how we can solve these four questions. In the next session, we will discuss some complicated cases of or advanced cases of points.